Hey everyone, it's Joanna here. So you have done your workout, you have worked really hard, you're sweaty, and now it's time to cool down and do your stretches. I'm going to show you a really quick five minutes total body stretches to lengthen and relax your muscles. So let's start. Let's start by placing your left foot on the floor, keeping your left leg and your right legs 90 degrees. What we want to do is to stretch our right hip flexor out. So all we want to do is to shift our body weight forward and what you should be feeling is your right hip flexor being stretched out. And what we want is to hold each stretch for 15 seconds long, release and hold it for another 15 seconds. So keep your body upright, release slightly and now let's hold it for another 15 seconds. If you don't feel it, try to shift your body weight even more forward, okay? So you should really be feeling your right hip being stretched out. Good job. Now just shift your body weight back and what we want to be stretching is the hamstrings on our left leg. So just stretch up and just gently reach forward. There you go. And just hold it. Remember, everybody's flexibility level is different, so take it at your own pace and you should feel mild discomfort. Really slightly, and now just stretch it again, and just reach forward and stretch. The more you breathe out, the further you will be able to reach. And do not hold your breath, it's all about relaxing. Good job. And now bring it back up. What we want to do is to twist our torso to feel the stretch on our waist. So right palm facing outwards, left hand all the way, and just look as far back as you can with your head, and just feel your waist and your torso being stretched out. Good. The further you look, the deeper you will feel. Very good, hold it. Release gently, and now let's stretch it out again, okay? Keeping your chest and your back upright all the time. So no hunching, but really keeping your back straight. Good job. And now let's bring our left leg back. And all we want to do is to pull it and stretch our quads, okay? Same thing, the further and the deeper you pull and touch your heel against your butt, the more you'll feel. So just remember to take it at your own pace. Do not force your muscles to stretch too far because you will only injure yourself. So release again. And now let's stretch it out again. Good job. Support your hands by placing it on the floor. Very good. And now just release it. What we're going to do now is exactly the same on the other side. So right leg up, left leg down, and now shift your body weight forward and feel your hip flexor being stretched out. Same thing, hold for 15 seconds, release, and then stretch for another 15 seconds. If you don't feel it, you can always inch forward and feel this stretch right at the hip flexor. Okay, keep your body upright. Remember to always keep your body upright all the time. Release and stretch it out again. Good. Breathe out and breathe in. Slow your breathing down because what you want is to cool down. Good job. And now just bend your knees and just stretch your right hamstrings, okay? You should feel the stretch right at your hamstrings. Just reach forward as far as you can. Breathe out. Very good. Release it slightly, and now let's go back down and hold for another 15 seconds. If you were to stretch every day, it will improve your flexibility. So try to spend five to 10 minutes every day to do quick stretches to improve your flexibility. And now let's come back up and to twist your torso. So left palms facing outwards, right hand on your waist, and just look as far back as you can. Okay, keeping your back and your chest upright. Doing well. 
By keeping your back upright, you should feel your back being stretched out as well. Release and once more, twist and look. Good job. And now let's just bring our right leg back and to stretch on our quads. So just pull it in and feel the stretch on your quads. Okay? Release it. And let's stretch once more. All these static stretches should only be done after your workout and not before your workout. So remember, to warm up is not to do any stretches, static stretches at all. Good job. Release it. And now let's just get, let's just stretch our arm out. So place your arms together, your hands together, keep your back straight and squeeze your shoulders together and just feel the stretch on your arms and your shoulder blades. And the higher you lift it, the deeper you will feel the stretch. Okay? Remember to open up your chest at the same time. So no hunching forward too much, but really open it up. Lift your arms higher up and feel the stretch between your shoulder blades and your hands. You can tilt slightly forward for a deeper stretch. Release it. And let's do it once more. All right, feel the stretch in your arms, especially if you've just done your arms workout and also your shoulder blades. And now just release, and the final stretch, downwards dog. It's a really good total body stretch, and it's really good to stretch your calves out as well. So let's just put all falls on the floor, come up. You want your bum to be facing towards the ceiling, and just keep your body straight, and just stretch out. Keep your back straight, and just stretch out, okay? The goal, is to have your heels on the floor. If you can't do that, you can just slowly step forward and stretch your calves out. Keep going. Big jump and just hold. Stretch your back, push your bum up and feel your calves being stretched out at the same time. All right, really slightly. And now let's go into the position again. Stretch it out. Step it in. Slowly, take it easy. And now let's just go down into a child pose. And just relax. That was a quick five minutes total body stretches, which you should do after every workout. If you want a deeper stretch, repeat the entire moves again. If you want to improve on your flexibility, you should stretch every day. Do not skip on your stretches. They are as important as your workout routine. For new fitness, food and motivational videos, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and website. Do follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to stay connected with me. Thanks guys!